As promised, the head-to-head -head battle between the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i versus the Pro 5i. Two fantastic laptops with great performance, slightly differing specs, and slightly differing price points for basically somebody who's on a budget or looking for a more premium laptop. Is it worth the extra cost to get them more premium version? Let's dive into the usability, build quality, and then jump into the performance. Now, first and foremost, the biggest difference from a build quality standpoint is that the Pro 7i has an aluminum top cover, bottom cover, and keyboard deck as well as side panels. Now, of course, this is plastic here on the Pro 7i, but you have aluminum and aluminum. Whereas the Pro 5i has an aluminum top cover, but you have a plastic keyboard deck, plastic side panels, and plastic bottom cover. Now, to me, I would be willing to spend the extra money to get the all aluminum version. That's honestly the more important part of it for me than considering the performance, which we'll get into in just a few minutes. Now, for you, that might not make a huge difference, but I love the idea of having all aluminum on my laptop and not having this plastic material. I just, even just the sound. It's just rattly, it just isn't as refined, and for the extra 100 or $200, it is nice to have that nice, firm aluminum material. Now, let's go ahead and look at the form and function of each of the laptops, because as you put these laptops head to head, they look so incredibly similar. Taking a look at the interior of the laptop, you have the same size trackpad, and the same keyboard. You have your numpad on the right, you have the black, soft touch plastic keycaps. They're not soft as in like mushy, but they're a softer material than that hardened chiclet plastic from last year's model. I think these keyboards are an upgrade from last year's model for sure. They have a nice quietness to them. The trackpads have a little bit of a clickiness to them, but they're still dampened, but not as quiet as maybe something like the X13 or the X16 from Asus, which I like even better than these trackpads. These are probably my biggest complaint with these laptops is the trackpads, um, but the keyboards are fantastic. RGB backlit keyboards, uh, they're really great. Now the screens are almost identical as well. I found that the Pro 7i was a little bit brighter and had a little bit better Delta E, um, but that could have just been the difference in the actual panel itself, as in they're the exact same panel, but maybe that one was just a little tiny bit different. You know, there are differences and in intricacies in a uh, factory when they're producing the product. Um, but I saw very, very similar results, as you can see those results coming up on the screen with the difference between the two. Uh, now going ahead and looking at the weight and thickness, you're gonna see that that is is nearly identical as well. Weight and thickness, so not a huge concern there. Maybe a tad heavier with all that aluminum material, the plastic is a little bit lighter. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the ports. What kind of ports do we have here for these two models? On the left side panel, we have USB type A, USB type C. On the right side panel, you can see we have USB type A, the headphone jack, and the manual cutoff switch for the webcam. Along the back side panel, we have power adapter, two USB type A's, HDMI, USB type C, and network port. They are identical. Now you can see here the differences in the ventilation. This is the Pro 7i and this is the Pro 5i. They just kind of did some aesthetic differences, but there's literally no differences in how they vent out. Now, for the Pro 5i, it comes standard with 16 gigs of RAM. For the Pro 7i, I've seen most models come standard with 32 gigs of RAM. Um, now, to quickly walk you through the specs, on the Pro 5i, we have the i7-13700H. On the Pro 7i, we have the i9-13900HX. For the Pro 7i, we have the RTX 4070. Pro 5i, the RTX 4060. Both have two upgradable M.2 slots. Both have two upgradable RAM slots, so the customization is the same as well. Going ahead and looking at the battery life, the Pro 7i and the Pro 5i are very, very close. However, the Pro 7i has a slightly larger battery and we're seeing slightly better battery life out of that slightly larger battery. So if we're looking for battery life, the Pro 7i is the way to go. Now they both have webcams and let's see if there's any difference between those webcams. Here's a quick sample of each of them for you. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Pro 
5i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Again, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability between these models, I'll put links in the description below. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, one thing I forgot to do for you is give you a sample of the keyboard and trackpad in use. So here it is. Now the biggest question is, is it worth the upgrade from a performance standpoint? I recently reran the scores for Geekbench 6 on the Pro 5i, so if you see any discrepancies between my original review and this one, that is the difference. So looking at Geekbench 6, you can see that we have a 2105 for the Legion Pro 5i with the i7 processor and a 2512 for the Pro 7i. So definitely some stronger single core performance. And looking at multi-core performance, we have about a 5,000 point difference, 20,000 versus 15,000. So if you're a big multitasker, if you're running six to 10 apps at a time, the Pro 7i is gonna be an advantage from that standpoint. Now looking at Cinebench R23 single core, see the Pro 5i is at 1900 and the Pro 7i is at 2080, not a big difference there. But as we get into the multi-core performance, you can see the Pro 5i sits at 20,000 and the Pro 7i sits at 27,000. So definitely the multitasking is where you're gonna see a big difference between the two laptops. Now let's get into some real world benchmarks. Let's check out the Photoshop benchmark. You can see we score a 1,229 for the Pro 7i and a 1,095 for the Pro 5i. Now keep in mind, I'm running these two stock as I receive them. So we have 16 gigs of RAM versus 32 gigs of RAM. Now, as we look at the Pro 5i, if we were to upgrade that to 32 gigs of RAM, I'm guessing we would have equal or very close to performance inside of Photoshop if it was 32 gigs of RAM versus 32 gigs of RAM. But remember, we're comparing these from the factory stock, stock pricing before we do any sort of aftermarket upgrades. Now, looking at After Effects, the Pro 7i is a 995 and the Pro 5i is a 921. Not a huge difference, especially that we're looking at 32 gigs of RAM versus 16 gigs of RAM. So, so far, both are great. The biggest advantage is going to be, to me, that aluminum chassis. Next, we're looking at Blender Classroom. For Blender Classroom, we're seeing a 1004 out of the Pro 7i and a 902 out of the Pro 5i, a hundred point difference. Not huge, is it worth it? Maybe, maybe not. For Autodesk 3ds Max, we see a 100 point difference. For Autodesk Maya, we see about a four point difference. For PTC Creo, we're seeing about a 30 point difference. And for SolidWorks, we're only seeing a three point difference. So the biggest difference is gonna be in Autodesk. If you're a big Autodesk user, you're gonna have an advantage with that RTX 4070, the i9 and 32 gigs of RAM over the Pro 5i, but for the rest of them, they are neck and neck. Now looking at Premiere Pro playback, we see zero drop frames for 6K B-RAW and 6K RED footage. Of course, 4K is zero as well. For the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i, we see zero for 4K, 32 drop frames for 6K B-RAW and 15 drop frames for 6K RED footage. Those, I mean, that's almost nominal. That almost doesn't matter. However, from a performance standpoint, the advantage does go to the Pro 7i, but barely. Now, if you're looking at 8K red footage, that might be a different story, but we'll save that for another time in another place. Now, looking at the export times, 4K to 4K export, that's a nine minute 4K clip put into Premiere Pro and exported it out full quality 4K YouTube settings. We have a two minute and 17 second export time out of the Pro 7i, that is fantastic. And a two minute and 56 second export out of the Pro 5i. Now I would say that's quite a sliding scale. We're seeing about a 40 second difference. And if you extrapolate that over maybe a movie or a video that you've created that's an hour long, that could save you about 10 minutes worth of export time. Is it worth it? Is it not to you? Now where we saw even less of a difference was actually for 6K red footage, 11 minutes and 43 seconds out of the Pro 7i, and then 12 minutes and 26 seconds 
out of the Legion Pro 5i. I was like, man, that is neck and neck. So I will reiterate that performance is very close between these two laptops, especially looking at 32 gigs of RAM worth versus 16 gigs of RAM. Now taking a look at DaVinci Resolve, we got a three minute and 55 second export time versus a four minute and 43 second export time. If you're considering these laptops, the premium build quality to me is what you're paying for. That RTX 4070 didn't make a huge difference overall. The 32 gigs of RAM didn't make a huge difference overall inside of the Pro 7i. I think Lenovo's biggest problem is that the Pro 5 and 5i are such great laptops, it's hard to beat it out. It's hard to do any better than the Pro 5i and Pro 5. From a build quality standpoint, the Pro 7 is fantastic, but overall, you can't go wrong with either of these laptops. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or wanna check out the live pricing and click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you make with your purchasing decision. I'll see you in the next one.